Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to introduce you to the Virtual Clone Drive. So what does the Virtual Clone Drive do? Essentially it allows you to take virtual or digital only copies of any DVD, any CD, and I believe Blu-ray discs as well, and be able to upload them to an emulated drive on your computer. So rather than having a physical DVD drive, you drive there and of course you can have a virtual clone drive in addition to a physical DVD drive but for whatever reason if you need to take a dot ISO image or possibly a dot image image and uh, put that onto a DVD drive this is one very quick way to do it now this is the settings interface of virtual clone drive as you can see it's incredibly simplistic and uh, for the most part the only thing you're really gonna change here is the number of drives so you might have just one drive but you might make it more than one if for some reason you need to disk images going at the same time over here on the language tab you can see that it's available in uh, most western languages uh, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem there if uh, well if you're listening to this video you probably are going to use English anyway right so, uh, yeah, aside from that, we can go over to the bottom right hand corner where the notification area is. And this is where our main interaction with the program is going to be. It basically sits there and runs in the background for the time that we need it. But whenever we want to mount a image onto it, we simply for virtual clone drive, right click it, go to drive D or whichever drive we want to mount. Note that the difference between the drives is just letter numbering. Um, so don't worry about which drive you choose, you can use any of them. Then we just have to navigate to where we have a image to mount, like this copy of Ubuntu that I have on my desktop. And then we can double click the image to open it and have it mount on our computer. Uh, you can see a little notification popped up. Basically, Windows recognized that Ubuntu 16.04 long-term support has been inserted into one of the drives on this computer regardless of if it's virtue this pc and i'll find it in the same way i would any dvd rom drive so now that ubuntu has been eh, it's okay so now that ubuntu has been loaded up into the virtual drive i would be able to go into here open it up to access the files if uh, the disk did have an autoplay function, which Ubuntu, uh, the disk is not going to hear because it's an operating system, you could only boot into an operating system from uh, the BIOS. Then I would, it, but if this was any other disk, I'd be able to right click it and basically do the autoplay. So for instance, if you're installing a game that just happens to be stored as a .iso file, you can add that to the virtual clone drive and install the game just as if you had burned that game to a DVD, a physical DVD, and physically put it in your DVD drive. So you can see how when you have image files and ISO files, that a program like Virtual Clone Drive really helps you out there. Now, compared to other programs, I would say that the main advantage of Virtual Clone Drive is both that it is completely free and also very simplistic. There's no extra fluff behind it. It just gives you the drives. You can uh, basically play around with the settings as you need though they're very basic you just put the image you autoplay it or whatever you need to do with it and you go and that's what I like about it it's probably my favorite program for this kind of thing so virtual clone drive go ahead and check it out if you haven't already